when I was younger, back in junior year of high school, uh, we, it was a big rivalry, it was a football game, and it was always a rivalry between Cookville High School and White County High School for years, I don't know why. Uh, but that year, um, we won, and everyone was like super excited, and it was like the highlight of that year, for, especially for that group. And um, so we celebrated, we went out to eat, and when I got, I got a phone call from my dad, he was like, hey, I need you to come back home. I was like, all right. And like, he never says this kind of stuff. And I was like, all right. So I took myself and my cousin, and we got back to Tech, and they told us my, little, my younger cousin, she was five at the time, she was diagnosed with leukemia. So I was like, man, all right. So we packed our bags and we just moved out to Vanderbilt. And all that weekend, all that week, I was stressed. I was, I was anxious. I was just nervous about my, my little cousin. And that kind of opened my eyes to be like, man, these nurses, you know, they take my little care, they take care of my little cousin like she was their daughter. And that that happened for I think two 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 and a half years. And but after I graduated in 2014, I took a semester off. I was trying to get some money under my belt, so you know, college won't be that expensive. Um, it won't be as bad of a burden. And then January 3rd, 2015, I went to do a, a checkup for, for college that they need before you get admitted before you know everything's fine. I wasn't feeling well a couple of weeks prior. I was getting bruises here and there. I was like, they wouldn't go away. I was like, let me check this out. Long story short, uh, I was there for from nine to three, and they figured out that my white blood cells were off the roof. I took a lot of health classes in in, in, um, in high school, so I kind of knew what was going to happen. And the experience with my cousin, I already knew. And then I didn't want to tell my parents because I know that I'm freaking out even more because if I knew before they knew. Um, so the doctor came in. I was like, hey. You gotta be serious with you guys. I think you have leukemia. My best bet is first thing to pray, um, and then pack a bag, head out to Vanderbilt. And I went there. I was diagnosed later that night with leukemia, PB, LLL, and um, kind of changed my life. Um, I got next day. I got chemo. Uh, I got. I went to surgery. Got a port calf installed, and um, started my my treatment with chemo and then um, I saw the nurses there and they're, like, most of them were the same ones I saw uh, two years prior and um, I just saw how much they cared and going through my journey um, I saw how much these nurses put themselves on the line not just physically but emotionally um, I seen some of my friends um, not friends but peers um, pass away and I see how much that uh, has affected them to a point, because I think part of the job is you're gonna do, that. you're gonna see that, you're gonna see death. But the thing is, like, you have to be ready to, to serve the next patient after that. You can't just, you have to grieve. It's normal. It's normal to grieve, but you have to be able to keep on going and serve the next person. And that's just a big thing with me. I just like helping people out. I love to serve. Uh, I'm always willing to put myself out there for others. I'm always out there for just help the community in general, especially growing up with this. Um, I know it's a team effort. It's a team effort just getting better, just being a good person. Um, cancer opened my eyes. Be kind of enjoy the people around you. Enjoy the time you have because you never know what's going to be taken away from you. And a lot of people my age don't know that. A lot of people my age is like me, me, me. What can I do? What's for benefit of me? What's going to please me? And that's fine. But at the end of the day, are you really happy? Um, so right now I'm ecstatic with myself. I surround my, myself with good people, good friends, good family members, and try to make good connections, new connections with people I just don't even know, but have a good experience in life. It, it's a very humbling job. You get, you get to learn what life is really worth. Because you see kids day in, day out. Sometimes it can be just a broken arm. The next day it can be stage four cancer, you know, way big different experience and um, I really want to work with cancer kids. I really want to work with the hematology oncology. Uh, I made a good connections with the staff there, Miss Ann Simon Polk, um, charge nurse, best nurse I ever met. Um, and her and um, 
it's just her and just how she cares. She's been being nursing for the last 45 years, and she's still kicking. She's still out there every day, um, trying to be a good person, trying to be a good role model, trying to be a mentor as to all her other staff and all her other patients. And it's just really cool. Um, I really want to do that one day. Just be a good mentor. And I try to be a mentor to people of my church. The kids, little kids growing up is like, hey, um, don't give up. Um, you know, life is tough. Life is really tough. But, you know, surround yourself with good people. Uh, follow your faith. And th good things will happen. Good things will happen.